But here we go again. The greedy doctors are planning another wave of strikes in their demand for an inflation-busting pay rise, a 35% increase. Now, the British Medical Association's Junior Doctors, or the BMA, their committee, announced a four-day strike in England from 7am on Friday the 11th of August to 7am on Tuesday the 15th of August. Consultants, many earning over 100k, are also planning strike action shortly before the August bank holiday on the 24th and 25th. It means that there'll be six severely disrupted days in the NHS in England in August. They have been offered a 6% and an extra 1,250 quid, but, oh, no, that's not good enough for them. Frankly, though, the 35% that they're demanding is not going to happen. And simple economics should tell them that. I mean, they're clever individuals. Not only would a 35% hike bankrupt the taxpayer, to put it bluntly, the NHS ain't all that. In fact... The increase in national insurance contributions to facilitate such a rise, which for me are already higher than any private medical cover, would make private medical cover considerably cheaper than paying for an NHS. Yes, they rightly believe that if, they, if you want your health care system, you'd have to pay for it. But do we? But we do already. This will backfire and could signal the end of a free from the point of need health care system. Because you see, like most professions, Junior doctors start on a measly wage. I mean, when I first got into radio at, at KISS 100, some 32 years ago, a long time ago, I was on the princely sum of £9,000, which went up to 11 after six months. We all start off on a lowly wage, but unlike being a junior doctor where there is pretty much a guarantee of a, of a job, a certain likelihood for a higher income and a guaranteed gold-plated pension, the likes no longer seen in the workplace Getting into broadcasting is very hit and miss. Now, I've had my fair share of misses. I haven't got a constant, never-ending queue of customers because, let's face it, we all need doctors. In my profession, in comparison, I'm relatively easy to replace. And as for a pension, unless you're lucky enough to get an actual contract in my line of work that gives you a benefit of one, you're pretty much on your own. And far from being two a penny, doctors are like gold dust, which is what, which is what they're banking on. In a statement, the BMA, Junior Doctors Committee, co-chairs Dr Robert Lawson and Dr Viviette Trevetti, said it should never have got to this point where we needed to announce a fifth round of strike action. Our message today remains the same. Act like a responsible government. Come to the table to negotiate with us in good faith and with a credible offer. These strikes will, need not go ahead at all. It went on to say the Prime Minister had told us that talks were over but it is not for Rishi Sunak to decide that negotiations are over before he has even stepped into the room. And, of course, this week, radiographers are on a 48-hour strike at 37 NHS trusts in England. I mean, it's ridiculous. Many doctors make comparisons with private medical health care systems in places like Australia, but, of course, they're better because they're better paid because they're private medical systems. They're not being paid for using taxpayers' cash. Look, it's really simple. If you want that much money, then free at the point of need is no longer sustainable. Perhaps now it's time to reform the NHS.